about the market uh, starting to price in an interest rate cut this year. Yesterday's hearing on Capitol Hill, the Fed chair did not say yes, but he also didn't say no. And on that topic, Steve Weisman is at the table. Steve. Good morning, Andrew. Fed Chair Jay Powell heads back to the Hill today, where he's expected to repeat his comments that the economy is in good shape and also his concern about the coronavirus. We know there will be effects on China through, through some part of the first half of the year, and China's close neighbors and trade, major trading partners in Europe as well as Asia. And we know that there will be some, very likely be some effects on the United States. I think it's just too early to say. Now, several Fed observers believe the Fed chairman was ever so gently pushing back against the market's pricing in of a Fed rate cut later this year when he said that current policy is likely to remain appropriate and that future changes rely on, quote, a material reassessment of the outlook. John Riding over at Bryn Capital said, quote, Powell's soft talk against a rate cut. Hmm. Guess what? Markets didn't really hear all that. They barely changed their outlook for a Fed rate cut. 53 percent now uh, probability for July, going all the way up to 80 percent by December. Maybe July is down a few points. December is about unchanged. Over at Oxford, economists heard confirmation of their outlook for a cut, saying, quote, we maintain our call for one more quarter point rate cut in June. Differences in the outlook seem based at least in part on how much they expect the coronavirus to affect the U.S. economy. I would just add this. While the Fed will act during an election year, that's not its preference. It never is. That means the case for a cut has to be very clear, and I would offer that it is not yet very clear. Steve, I feel like you are here every day saying, hey, people in the markets, investors, listen up. Yeah. All of these things that you're anticipating later this year may not happen from the Fed's right. perspective. I, I'm not sure it matters all that much just yet. I mean, I, what, what concerns me is when the market gets way overextended, believing that a rate cut is coming and when I'm pretty sure it's not, then there's this sharp reckoning mm -hmm. in that the rate cut is priced out into June and it's a 50 percent probability. It could just as Still well be many months away, a lot right? of folks saying I got a portfolio that's my, my you know, it's up to 30,000 on the Dow, whatever you wanted to call it. And I got a hedge against that. And to some extent that rate cut serves a bit as a hedge if, if things should go south. Right. Um, and so it's not like there's the rubber band is stretched very tense right now. If we get closer there That's what and, the, and that probability keeps out. going up. Still, right. But I will tell you this. We haven't heard a lot. We heard Powell yesterday, I would say, very neutral. Daly last week, I was in San Francisco. She said, I don't think there's a cut coming. Uh, I can tell you we have a lot of Fed speak coming next week. And so we'll get a good feel for where the FOMC stands.